One of the really fun things uh, about rice is that there's a kind of very beautiful chaos that goes on in what gets saved and what gets stashed in places. But some of them have wound up here on the second floor of the physics building in a bit of an impromptu museum of physics equipment. A physics faculty member Stan Dodds has essentially curated this museum for many, many years. I inherited it. I didn't start it myself. My predecessors tended to keep things. And it is a collection that goes all the way back to the beginning of the department and forward into the age of computers. This is called an Elihu Thompson coil. It was purchased by H.A. Wilson when he started the department. We still, in fact, use it for demonstrations because it illustrates a number of points that are important in modern technology. Uh, the students like it because, although the formal name is the Thompson coil, they call it a ring flinger because it tosses rings around. Uh, it's an induced current effect, so we, which we do talk about quite a bit in the technology. The amazing thing to me is it's 100 years old. It still works. It's still, if you want, state of the art. This was probably purchased when the Institute was set up in 1912-1913. Uh, this is a heater sitting inside a mirror which forms a beam of infrared to another mirror and focuses it on a point. If you put a match or a small bit of uh, tinder there, it will actually catch fire. It can be quite dramatic, although it's fairly slow, so it's not really suitable for this. It seems like it's not a big deal, some of this stuff. But it is a big deal, in fact. People use these things. You get a strong feeling when you look at this equipment, when you put your hands on it, when you see that you know, this instrument was calibrated by someone in 1923, and your hands are touching the same machine that they touched with their hands. It just brings it alive. Right? For a historian, there's nothing more valuable than that. It's the attic, if you will. And every now and again, somebody comes by. I do enjoy it when students come by and look at it and, oh, what's that? And, you know, or they recognize something that they've seen or they can figure out how it works. Um, I think it gives them a little sense of history and what their predecessors might have done.